I like it. How do you walk? What does your voice sound like, Sukiti? What should you do with your chair? With well, my name is Cassie Carlson, and I teach kindergarten at Arborview. We are starting our daily five rotations. So within that, we have word work, writing, listen to reading, read to self, and teacher time. That's when like the guided reading happens. That's when the level text will come out. We'll kind of dig deeper into what that group needs. But right now, we were just figuring out how to move throughout, doing different tables. We did stampers, and we also did a cool puzzle, and we did the sand. Oh, we were doing letters and tracing the uppercase and lowercase with sand. Our independence and our stamina is something that we really work on in kindergarten. We need to be able to be independent. It's a long time. It's, it's hard for them, but they get really good at it, and they enjoy it. And then they have like also another goal is our, their self confidence. Like I can do this on my own. I have kids that are tracking print or understanding what a letter is, and then I have kids who are inferring and predicting. Um. So I walk over to every book to see if I know if I like them. And when I find my favorite book, Ladybug Girl, I read it. And then. When I'm done with it, I find another bug lady, bug girl. So during teacher time, I will split them up by level, and then that way they can we can work with that group on what that group needs. In kindergarten, we see that everyone reads at a different time, but all of a sudden, you get this one moment and everyone, it just clicks. And they're more confident and they're able to do it and they're excited about it. So I think that's my favorite part too. I get excited, obviously, but my favorite part is when they get excited and they're like, I can read a book. I'm a reader. Okay, so we could end up feeding him too much. All right, let's do another question. Uh, Vid, you want to do yours? My name is Nick Ludolf. I teach third grade at Arborview, and this is my fourth year in the district. Oh, okay. So do you think that, are you asking if they're going to fight again? Yeah. Okay. Do you guys think that that, that Peter and Fudd are going to I think guided reading is where teachers can just really shine because they get to, it just shows their knowledge of their students and shows their ability to assess and always have ongoing assessments and know like what their kids need, what their kids um, are struggling with, their kids are excelling with, so they can just target those specific needs. Every week on Monday, he posts um, one chapter or two chapters, sometimes even three chapters of a book, and now everybody's in a different gu a guided reading group with a group of people, and you read that book with your group, and you like ask questions about it on Friday or Thursday. The most important part about it is I get to meet with groups of students based on their reading levels and their reading interest and things they need to work on and I can pull um, a group of students about five to six at a time and really target what they need in reading and make the learning specialized for them. So it's a time where I can just really target my instruction to meet the needs of all the kids in my class with reading. After a few weeks he starts picking up on what we like to do like what types of things that we like to read and what things that we do for fun right now at the beginning of third grade especially we really focus on text evidence like give an answer then support it what how do you know yeah so he, he owns Shiloh so what can we infer about how he might treat Shiloh you have to have the kids do the work themselves and like it can be so hard if you don't think about the way you ask a question because some questions can be so leading to the answer that they're not they don't have to put any work in so i guess the like i've tried to ask questions that are very like inferential and that like puts the ball in their court and they have to like make inferences and or f expand on the answers yeah it's like really fun when you like get to come up with your own answers because there's so many answers you can pick and not all of them will be right, but you'll learn from those stuff. I love just seeing like the kids run to the table because they're so eager to talk about like the chapter they read, or talk about like or ask a question that they have. Just like showing the signs of like their their general interest in reading is increasing. 